Peace and love, this is Maya, a visionary of Miyogi, and I am so excited to be partnering with the National Black Workers Center for Black Labor Day. Now, a little bit about myself. I am very much an Afro-American, Caribbean sort of infused woman raised in Tampa. So a lot of what my practice stems from is rooted in Afro-Asiatic practice. Now, I love yoga and I love being able to teach it along with movement, mindfulness, meditation, and of course, some good music. The root of my work stems from liberation and truth and being able to infuse that in everyday living. So for Black Labor Day, we are celebrating rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, we're gonna celebrate it. What I mean by that is we're just gonna bask in our, es in our excellence in rest. So for this first series, we're gonna go over some breathing techniques and some gentle movement that's perfect for waking up in the morning. Let's get into it. The first breathing technique that we are gonna explore is a four count breath. How it is practiced is inhaling for four counts, holding for four counts, exhaling for four counts, holding for four counts. And we're gonna do that four times, all right? So get the fours all in the mind when thinking about this breathing technique. Now, if you're new to yoga and you're not really sure what breathing techniques are, a brief synopsis is to think about it like this. We're already breathing, we're naturally breathing. A part of us living is to have our breath. But breathing techniques are essentially like strengthening that muscle of breathing, right? It's for us to expand our lungs capacity, whether you are having to run a marathon or if you're just simply in the kitchen cooking and you're mindfully breathing while you're inhaling all of these scents to make a beautiful concoction. All right, so you got the gist of it. Let's get into our breath. Drop into a comfortable seat. Think about a nice straight spine. You might want something behind you to help you, or you can do it without any support. Now, I love to teach yoga so that is accessible. So whether you're three years old or 30 or 90, this is for you. After you've settled into your comfortable seat, Think about aligning the crown of your head so that it is raising high to the sky and rooting into your throne as the royalty that you are. Relax, settle, release. Begin to watch the breath. Without an effort to change it, just simply observe. Empty out the breath. And on your next inhale, deeply through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold it for one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold it for one, two, three, four, second round, inhale, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, third round, inhale, two, three, four, hold it, two, three, four, exhale, release, two, three, four, hold it, for two, three, 
four. Final round, deep inhale. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold it for two, three, four. Awesome. Deep breath in. Out the mouth. Exhale. Taking a moment just to observe your thought patterns. Notice. How the body exists in space. Pay attention to your natural breath flow. Perhaps you notice a difference from when you first came into your practice. Just be more mindful of the present moment. The present is a present. It is a gift. So we are grateful for this moment. The ability to settle, relax, and restore your essence. Let's find some movement in the body now. We're now going to explore what's known as ocean breath, also known as ujjayi. And it sounds like the ocean when practiced correctly. The inhale is through the nostrils. The exhale is with the mouth closed, a constricted throat, almost as if you're trying to fog a mirror, <sighs> but with the mouth closed. It should sound like this. And you can keep this breathing pattern throughout your day, throughout the practice, whenever you have checked out and the mind has wandered and you remember, oh yes, I need to breathe more mindfully. Think about ocean breath. It's a beautiful breath to bring you back to balance, homeostasis. All right, so we're gonna pair that ocean breath with some neck and shoulder release. Now, if you're like me, and you're in front of a computer for a few hours throughout the day, then you might be seated for long periods and you know your gaze might tend to fluctuate and, and the neck and the shoulders, they're doing a lot of work. The head itself is typically about 10 pounds, so your neck and your back is holding this up. So it's so important to take time to stretch out the neck, especially when you first wake up, because you're sleeping and you choose your favorite side to sleep on. So the body compensates, the muscles are trying to figure out, okay, how can I best support you? I don't know about y'all, but if you've ever experienced a crook in your neck, it does not feel good. So these few practices, these uh, poses that we're gonna go through will help to prevent that and just keep that lubrication in your joints. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a nice straight spine. And we're gonna drop our chin to the chest. Now you might start to feel some heat within the body just by simply dropping the chin down to the chest. Remembering that ocean breath in through the nose, out of the nose. And slowly swivel the head over towards your right bringing your right ear to the right shoulder and letting that left shoulder hang heavy.
We're gonna slowly bring that chin back to the chest. Left ear swivels to the left shoulder. Let the right shoulder hang heavy. And you can continue swiveling from one side to the other. And what might enhance this is to encourage, I encourage you to incorporate a little bit of touch, a little self-massage. So taking your peace fingers and just grazing them down the side of the neck, starting behind the ear and just pressing ever so gently but firmly down to the shoulder. Now you get to decide how much pressure and it depends on what's going on in those muscles. So doing that to one side and doing it to the other. And it's so important to create this connection within yourself to touch and massage your body because only you know what's going on in your body. So moving this fluid around, moving the tissue, pressing into the muscles is helping to release tension and calm your central nervous system. Basically telling your body, hey, it's okay to relax. It's all good. Now, after you've done that a couple times and you've massaged, you can take the head in a full circle, opening up the throat, opening up the front of the neck. Ah, and what also feels good is to let out a sound. Ah. and turning the corners of the mouth up because it's all good. So, we warmed up the neck and shoulders a bit. We're gonna get a little bit more into the shoulders and to the spine. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away from your chest. Take an inhale with that ocean breath. Reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up. Opening up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Nice. Relax the hands. And we're gonna find just some gentle movement in the spine, taking it around town. So you can start in one direction. I'm going clockwise. You can start off slow or fast. And maybe when you do this on your own, you'll have some music in the background so you can feel it. But I want you to roll those shoulders around Start to puff the chest out and down. Just find some fluid movement, breathing into the back body. And of course, we did one way, now we gotta go the opposite way and take it around. And it's less about how it looks, right? It's like, oh, I don't wanna look silly, but it is not so much about how it looks, it's about how it feels. You're giving your body a gift whenever you move intentionally. So I've shared two breathing techniques and a few poses for the neck, shoulders, and the spine to help you wake up in the morning or to help you whenever you're feeling a little groggy and you just need to loosen up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace and love.